Okay, this is another example where we're finding a cell voltage, and they're using made-up elements just to see if they can mess with us. And instead of giving us things that we find in our great big redox table, they're giving us a tiny, tiny redox table that only has two rows in it. Unfortunately, they're giving it to us in a scrambled form, so we should probably get that fixed. Our data book the reactions in it all have the electrons on the left. They're all reductions. Not so here. So let's get that fixed before we go any further. This first reaction, if we fix it to be a reduction, would be P2 plus... <laughs> that should be two electrons. Someone had an attention lapse. So if we flip this so that it's a reduction. We also flip the voltage. This would be 0 0.60 volts. Flip this one the same way. Q3 plus, plus, that should be three electrons. Converts into Q. We flip this one, so now this should only be 0 0.40 volts. And now we have something that looks more like our data book. It's in descending order of voltage, and these reactions are both reductions. So if you got a reaction out of this, the P2 would be your strongest oxidizer. And reading up the other side, Q metal would be your strongest reducer. And those are the two things that would react. This top reaction would stay as is. It's always the, the higher reaction stays as it was originally written. And the lower reaction, the reduction, always gets flipped. Q2, Q3, plus 3 electrons. And because we flip this, negative 0 0.40 volts. So if we add those up, we'd have to match up the electrons, but I'm not going to bother with that because we're just trying to find the voltage here. We add these reactions, we add their voltages, 0 0.60 plus negative 0.40. The overall voltage for this would be 0 0.20 volts.